20 years <laughs> after the first one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, good grief. Is Isn't that, that crazy? Long? Yeah, I think, yeah. I think it's 20 years ago. I'm, I'm, I'm just reeling over the passage of time more than anything else. but uh, That happens, mm. doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> Keeps moving. All right, you guys been out tonight? How's, uh, how's it looking out Well, I, I was encouraged because it felt like the breeze had picked up a little bit, and then I was hopeful maybe that'll dry up some of this before it gets really cold. I, I think it will. Okay. It's interesting he says that. Were you out? No. Working too hard? Oh, yeah. I stayed in here. Somebody's it was nice hold the and warm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think what you are bringing up is really valid because what's going to happen is temperatures are going to go down slowly and the wind is going to pick up. So I think we'll find some slippery spots first thing tomorrow morning, but not a widespread thing. So mm -hmm. that could actually work out for us. Well done. You can have my job in no time. See how you see this? <laughs> All right. I want to show you what's going on. We are going to let you know that we've got some warnings in effect. The next big thing we're going to be watching here, it's going to be all about lake effect snow. And we're going to find a bunch of lake effect snow coming off of Lake Ontario and involved here with the lake effect snow warning area, parts of St. Lawrence County and also into Franklin County, where some 10 to 20 inches of snow could come down. Now, for many of us, temperatures have gone up. It's 39 degrees Burlington, 38 degrees Plattsburgh, not reporting now in Saranac Lake. Kind of interesting. Not sure what's going on, but we've got some 40s as you head on down to the south. But this is the real deal because if you look off to the west on this weather map, it is way colder. I mean, places like Buffalo, 28, but 18 in Detroit, 13 Chicago, Indianapolis at 14. This is some of the stuff that's going to work its way toward us. Now, talked about the fact temperatures are going to go down pretty slowly, but we are thinking that first thing tomorrow morning, it is going to be cold with temperatures back into the 20s, and then to get to 30 degrees is going to be a bit of a struggle. And I know George just mentioned the wind picking up a little bit. Watch what's going to happen tomorrow. This is future cast wind. This is sustained wind, 7 o'clock in the morning. We're in the teens, at least for some of us, right in the Champlain Valley. And then the wind speed is going to pick up, and it's going to be one of these deals. It's a southwest wind. That's why we're going to have lake effect snow. But with the wind, with wind gusts well into the 30s and temperatures upper 20s to near 30, oh, man, it's going to be cold out there. Storm Tracker 5000, here's the rain and the snow we were looking at. If you come on well off to the west, we're finding the lake effect snow just starting to fire up coming off of Lake Ontario. So it's going to be interesting. A little bit closer to home, things are looking good. Could find the odd rain or snow shower, but again, the likelihood not that great. This is what we are going to want to continue to watch. All right, we've got a front that is working its way through. This thing is going to blow on through back behind it. It is way colder. And once the cold air settles in, talking about a really chilly couple of days here, then we start to step up a little bit. And you know what? By the end of the seven day forecast, may surprise you, temperature is not too bad. This is Futurecast, 1.15 in the morning. We've got, well, the lake effect snow ban. That's what really catches the attention here. So look at this happening first thing tomorrow morning. This is Franklin County. This is St. Lawrence County. And make no mistake, from time to time, this thing could expand. Maybe some snow showers. Even in the Champlain Valley, I think the higher elevation is a little more likely. So parts of the Adirondacks could get whacked here. I mean, Whiteface, places like Saranac Lake, places like Tupper Lake, we could be talking maybe more than 10 inches of snow by the time this thing winds down. This is later in the day. Note the way the wind direction didn't change much, so we're still talking about a bunch of snow in parts of Franklin County and also as you get into St. Lawrence County. And again, maybe some of this stuff, even making it to the Champlain Valley, but we don't think a lot of that will stick around. So this comes on down to the south a little bit by the time we get into Wednesday morning, and Wednesday itself looks to be a pretty good day. Again, it's going to be cool, not quite as windy, but temperatures unseasonable to say the least. Cloudy periods tonight at this point, 25 degrees at your low for tomorrow. These are highs, everybody. 20s for most of us. We'll call it 30 in Burlington, but not even 20 degrees in Saranac Lake. And here's the deal on that lake effect snow. Look at the way this is painting in by later on Wednesday. Anywhere from 10 to 20 inches of snow expected over toward Lake Ontario in St. Lawrence County and Franklin County. 30 degrees windy tomorrow, 32 still breezy on your Wednesday. Thursday, more clouds than sun, 37, 31 on Friday. Saturday looks good, 30 degrees. Sunday, better chance for rain and snow showers around. It's getting warmer. Look at this, the chance for a rain shower or two on Monday. Warm day with a high. 49.